Hello crafty fans! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aldo and today I am going to show you how to make a cowl neck dress. So if you want to learn how, keep on watching! As you can see, I already pre-cut my fabric. You will need... So the first thing I will do is I will add this twill tape to stabilize the back neckline of the dress. Then I'm going to fold it inwards to hide the raw edges and I'm going to sew it right here on the edge. Now turn your fabric facing up, measure from the corner 3 inches in and I'm going to do it on the other side. This is going to be the shoulder seams of the dress. Now grab the front panel and you're just going to place it right where you put the pins, just like this, and pin it to secure. And be sure that the right sides of the fabrics are facing each other. As you can see here, it's already forming a cowl neck. just going to sew the shoulder seams I am doing one half inch seam allowances and it should look something like this to figure out the armhole you're just going to measure from your shoulder down to your underarms and then you're just going to mark it now it's time to trim off the excess fabric And you are going to do the exact same thing on the other armhole. From where the pin is, I'm going to sew it all the way down to the hemline. And then I'm going to sew the side seam, just one. You will see why in a few seconds. To add shape to the dress, I am going to make a casing by using this twill tape. From the shoulder, you will measure it down to your natural waistline. Mine was about 14 inches and I'm just going to put the twill tape, pin it to secure. Just want to make sure that the twill tape is straight because it will show if it's not. And you guys, I finally got a dress form that is in my size. So once I put the twill on the dress, it's going to look like this. This is the reason why I did not sew the side seam earlier. So I can finish the side like this nice and tidy. Now it's time to sew the twill on the fabric. Um, be sure that you are not stretching the fabric. And it should look something like this. Here I am using a quarter of an inch wide elastic and I'm just going to put it inside the casing like this until I reach the other end. Just make sure that the elastic is the same measurement as your waistline. And here I was deciding what trim I should use for this project so you can have this one jumbo rickrack there's another option last option is just white lace we decided to go for the white lace because the rickrack was a little bit stiff I'm afraid that it will take away the flowiness of the dress we're just going to sew the lace on the fabric By the way, crafty fans, the lace is totally optional. If you want a plain dress, you don't have to add lace. 
For this project, I actually use this stitch here, number three. This is perfect for stretchy fabrics. If you don't have this in your sewing machine, you can just use a zigzag stitch. It's time to sew the side seams. I'm also going to sew the elastic all at the same time. So make sure that the elastic is the same measurement as your waistline before you finish the side seam. Then I will trim off the excess elastic and I will also trim the excess lace. I'm going to serge the raw edges, that is totally optional as well. Now all I have to do is finish the neckline and the hemline. I'm actually going to do an invisible stitch. If you don't know how to do that, I am going to have it linked in the description box below. Here I'm just finishing the sleeve hems. As you can see here, as I reach the underarm seam, I just lift up the presser foot and turn the fabric sideways like this and continue on sewing. Then I will lift up the presser foot again and continue on sewing. so much for watching and i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel i upload every monday and friday and don't forget please you guys i'm asking if you could share this video because i'm trying to reach 20k at the end of the year to help me reach my goal for this year thank you so much for watching again and i will see you soon bye